rejection of the truth, Jesus is Lord. God is a no consuming fire, burning away all false desires. Yes, he's gonna burn it away. The Holy Burning Ways. Well, hello, brothers and sisters. And I have a promise for you today. Did you know that if you become a believer, your family will as well? It's what Paul said in the book of Acts. So it is a absolute promise. Now, of course, that kind of contradicts the words of Christ that said that, you know, he would bring division in the family. But the problem is that many have taken the words of Paul and applied it to their own family. I've heard so many people take it as a life verse. When Paul tells the jailer that if you believe, you, your family will be saved. Now, first of all, is that what the verse is saying? And second of all, who is he saying that to? So let's get into the context of what's going on here. In Acts chapter 16, Paul is in jail with Silas. There's a, a great earthquake that happens. And here's what follows next. When the jailer woke and saw that the prison doors were open, he threw his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, Do not harm yourself. For we are all here. And the jailer called for the light and rushed in. And trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Now you see, people tend to take that last part and say, it's a promise from God. If I become a believer, so will my family. Again, considering that this kind of contradicts Christ's promise that we will bring division in a family, and considering even throughout the generations, 2,000 years now, we have seen when sometimes one person becomes a believer in a, a certain religious family, like a Muslim family, uh, the rest of the family then disown them and never comes to Christ. So can this be really a general promise for all of us? Especially when you consider what is Paul saying? Is he making a promise to the jailer that if he believes, his family will believe? Now in this situation, the context doesn't help out as much as the verse itself. When we read that verse, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household, is the emphasis on if you believe, they will believe. Or is the emphasis on, here's the means of salvation. If you recognize this, you'll be saved. If your family recognizes this, they will also be saved. Of course, you understand that I'm leading towards the second one. That Paul is saying, okay, this is how you, believe, how you are saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And recognize that you are a sinner in need of salvation. Christ paid on the cross for your sins. Recognize that, believe that, and you will be saved. Uh, you and your family if, of course, they also believe. He, he cannot tell one man it's all about you believing this, but for them it's about you believing. No, it's about them believing as well. The gospel is always an individual thing. We must believe. We must repent and put our trust in Christ individually. This isn't a promise he's making to the jailer as much as it is the gospel, how the power of the gospel can have an impact on your family if they also believe. Now, I didn't mean to attack or destroy anybody who's holding on to this life verse, but they said we got to keep it in its proper context. Now, not only is this Paul talking to the jailer, first of all, but what was Paul really saying to the jailer is what I'm trying to say here. We need to recognize that God makes no promises that if you believe, automatically your family will believe. So we must be careful not to put promises in God's hand in God's mouth that he did not say, and then hold him accountable to these promises that he never made to begin with. It's a very dangerous thing. Instead, let's focus on the true promise of Paul here, true promise from God here. If you believe the gospel, you will be saved. If you trust in Christ alone as your means of salvation towards the Father, you will be saved. With that said, brothers and sisters, 
Do that.